outside and uh, parts of Hell's Kitchen, but I also represent the animals. Uh, they can't vote. They can't. They don't have a voice. But they need. They need champions in government, and I, um, in my six years in the assembly, I passed um, six animal welfare laws, including. Um, protection for companion animals. Well, here, here, and uh, I love that one because people said, what do they need that for? And in fact, the people who abuse animals go on to abuse more animals and eventually kill them and people. So animals are intimately involved in all facets of life. And it's about time that people in government understood that. One of the ways and coming May 1st, I know when a lot of you will be up in Albany, we'll be educating people in government about the inhumane treatment of horses whose life is uh, sadly um, occupied by pulling passengers in these horse-drawn carriages. And this is something that I know a lot of you have fought against for years, and I hope to finally put an end to it with the bill that Senator Avella and I are sponsoring. In I grew up in New York City, just a couple blocks from where I live now, and I never once took a ride on those horse-drawn carriages. Yeah. I don't know any native New Yorker who has, and that's because it's just not an appealing thing to do. Uh, there are a million things to do in New York City, and riding on a, you know, having a beleaguered, downtrodden, um, abused at times horse dragging me around is the last thing I want to do. And I know that a lot of tourists understand that too because a lot of you are out there week in and week out, rained or not rained because the horses have to be there in the rain, right? Um, telling tourists that what they're about to embark on is not a pleasure ride through Central Park, but in fact um, something that is bad for people, bad for horses, bad for the environment, um, and just really not something they ought to be doing with their time and their money. In fact, what we should all be doing, all of us in this room do, is trying to shut down this industry. It's, it's yeah. time to put it out of business. <laughs> now, I, have, I had a meeting with uh, an, some of the prominent owners and uh, people who partake in, in this and earn their living this way, and they say, you know, they love horses and all they want to do is, you know, give them a good life. And I said, a good life is not spent on the pavement of New York City streets, hauling around. <laughs> if you really care about horses and you really care about their destiny and that they have a good life, they will not spend it on our streets. They will spend it in some beautiful bucolic uh, pasture somewhere, uh, doing what horses were meant to do. And not, as Mayor Bloomberg says, have a job. Which he will, well, he won't have one soon, which is a good thing. But horses are not put on this earth to have a job. Right. They're here to live, to enrich our lives, to have, they just be part of the beautiful world and nature and not to work as slaves for us. And so the purpose of this bill is to ban it. I know we, we're going to have a big struggle because a lot of people don't understand the importance of this issue. They've been fed, you know, the, the what, what Bloomberg and company say is just a wonderful tradition in New York. You know, some traditions deserve to die, and this is one of them. And so when I see you in Albany and I see you on the streets and I see you through emails and letters and phone calls, I know you're doing the best you can, and uh, we'll continue, we'll persevere, and we will get this through, if not this year, next year, but we always no, aim year. to do it now. But we, gotta, we, we have to educate the people about why it's wrong and why they must take a stand, and we're going to hold them accountable for the stand that they take. Because if they want to come back to Albany, they need to support this bill. So thank you all. It's wonderful to see you.